Hey guys, in this video what we're going to talk about is Tacticam Reveal Cellular Trail Camera's extended range antenna. It's good for all the Tacticam reveals as well as many other cameras. Let's get started. Alright guys, so what I've done is I've set up one of my Tacticam Reveal X um, here, roughly in a situation like I'd have it out in the woods. So what I have it is is just a, you know slightly above shoulder height, about head height. So the idea with that is that it would be looking down on the deer a little bit above eye level, uh, less likely to be detected. So I'm setting it up here. I also know that I'm in an area where the cellular service is just mediocre. And so what we'll do is we'll run this through its cycle. We'll see how many bars it has. And then what we'll end up doing is going ahead and setting up the Tacticam uh, Reveal extended range antenna and see how it does on the performance improvement. So let's run it through its cycle here and we'll see what we have as a baseline. So all I'm doing is just switching its setup. It still has its uh, standard antenna on it. Let it go ahead and run through its cycle. You will see it is fully charged or the batteries are full. Okay, so here as a baseline, we've got two bar. And um, so that's a, a mediocre signal. And what we can do now is we'll see if we can go ahead and get it to improve when we go ahead and hook up the new extended range antenna by Tacticam Reveal. So what I want to talk about is what does come in this kit when you purchase it. I did order this through the Tacticam Reveal website. Uh, the price is very reasonable. I also saw that you can get it right now currently on Bass Pro or Cabela's for around $25, which I think is extremely reasonable. For me, one of the things I'm reaching out to this for is that uh, the properties that I hunt in Ohio and West Virginia, the cell service is very limited. Once you get over the hillside uh, just a little bit ways, uh, the cellular service drops clear out. And what I'm looking at is there are definitely some high traffic areas or scrapes or things that I'd like to be able to monitor. If I could just get a little bit more cellular service, that would be able to A, let me send signal or let me send pictures that is, B, also too, if I can get a stronger signal, that also would extend uh, the battery life, either from the lithium battery packs or from the lithium um, replaceable batteries that I also use. But in this kit, what you do have is you've got a strap that comes with it that lets you go through. It's the same kind of Tacticam strap that you see with the Reveal cellular cameras. I can run it through it and be able to attach it to a tree, a post, a pole, whatever you want with it. Uh, it comes with a six and a half foot cable uh, coaxial cable. It also has an adapter. That way it gives you the ability to connect to female or male um, connections. Uh, you can also, with the slots, if you wanted to be able to go ahead and screw it or nail it into um, some type of object, if you wanted to be able to have it more mobile, uh, such as, a, or a place that you think that it would be fixed. Like maybe you have a, a standard 4x4 post or something that you wanted to screw it in, and again, make it maybe a little bit less likely to be able to be taken by maybe a trespasser. But that's uh, pretty much it with the uh, six and a half foot cable that goes ahead and makes sure that I have a pretty decent sized cable where it looks like the signal strength or reduction would be minimized. And also too, it gives me a reasonable distance to be able to elevate it above the camera itself and be able to position it maybe around the tree uh, to get a little bit stronger strength. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and take this out of the package, do the installation, and we'll see what it does to improve signal strength. So just for mounting this again, what I did is just slide the strap through. I went ahead and ran it through the opening behind the antenna itself and out the other opening again so that it keeps the front open and then lets me go ahead and put it around the tree to where I have the cinchable buckle here that I can tighten it down with. And then it has the six and a half foot cable. Also too is another option for connecting it. There is a quarter by 20 connection here on the back side if you wanted to go ahead and be able to mount it to uh, some type of object that way as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is spin off the existing antenna and connect up the new extended range antenna. Just want to make sure I get it nice and snug and make sure that that makes that seal good and tight so it's good and waterproof. And then what I'm going to do now is use that as my judge of how tall I can get or how high I can extend the antenna based on the amount of cable that's available. All right, so what I ended up doing is going ahead and putting the antenna up. I played with it some, moving it around, trying to see about the signal strength, if I can get it to improve on one side of the tree or the other. I've had it all the way with the cable extended, the full roughly six and a half feet. I've had it a little bit lower. 
Right now I've got it maybe four or five feet uh, above the camera and we'll go ahead and turn it on and see what it shows. But what I did see so far is, is really I, I saw no improvement in signal strength. I saw either the same or I've even seen one bar less. I'm not sure what to take out of that yet. What I'll end up doing is going ahead probably and trying it in some other locations. Not sure. I've got some storms here in the area that might be impacting the signal strength and so it's fluctuating perhaps. But as you saw a second ago, okay, so two, and two is where I had it with the previous antenna as well that came with the camera. So at least so far, I'm not seeing really any improvement in signal strength. But like I said, we'll give it a try and see where we come out on some other locations. All right guys, so what I wanted to do is just go ahead and go over a summary of what my findings were when I was testing out that Tacticam uh, extended range antenna. Uh, so I tried it in a couple different applications, primarily just using it with like the Reveal X um, first generation camera. And what I actually ended up finding was when I put on the extended range antenna, it was really no better. I found it to either be a little bit worse or roughly the same as the standard antenna that came with the initial uh, Reveal X. And with it, you know, I did go ahead and try um, orienting on different sides of the tree or limbs. Um, generally just trying to face it different directions just to see if it pick up better reception. But the short of it is, is that I really saw no improvement. So one of the things I do plan going forward, I think, is, you know, I do have some areas that have li limited um, cell coverage is I might look at some different directional antennas. Uh, or, or maybe some others that I see that some, may, some have made videos on YouTube on uh, that, that might perform better than what this Tacticam was. But uh, anyways, I hope that you guys found this useful. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, ring that bell. I'll be bringing you guys more content. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.